Maboy Manila Pope here. Today we have the Samsung Galaxy A23 and despite being a budget smartphone, the specs that it carries are quite handy. It has a 50 megapixel main camera with OIS stabilization feature with three other lenses along with it. It also has a 6.6 inch display packed with a 90Hz refresh rate and aside from that, it is also protected by a Gorilla Glass 5 up front. So let's see what other neat features this device has. Let's begin. Again, the Samsung Galaxy A23 is a budget smartphone that stands out. The unit we have is the awesome peach variant which is quite nice and clean to the eyes. The design of the Galaxy A23 is pretty much similar to other high mid A series devices but this one doesn't come with the matte finish but is more of a glossy one. It is made out of plastic, it is sleek and appealing to the eye. The camera bump is smooth that it is meshed along with its back panel. It has a side mounted fingerprint scanner built into its power button. On the right, we have the volume rockers along with the power button and on the left is the dual nano SIM slot with expandable storage up to 1TB. At the bottom are the USB-C, microphone, 3.5mm headphone jack and the Dolby Atmos speaker. Now switching to the front, it boasts a 6.6 inch PLS LCD Full HD Plus resolution and a 90Hz refresh rate. All of that is protected by a Gorilla Glass 5. Scrolling down the display is pretty much smooth thanks to the 90Hz refresh rate which is also adaptive for battery saving. The bezels and chin are quite thick but the colors are sharp and vibrant. Details are improved and it has an impressive viewing angles. Although the display isn't that bright outdoors since it only has a peak brightness of 460 nits, despite that we still get a display that is rich in colors and details. It is best for gaming and streaming, especially at night before we all went to bed. Now moving to its camera, it is packed with a quad camera setup. 50 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization feature, 5 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel for both macro and depth purposes. During the day, the 50 megapixel main cam does a pretty good job. Even in cloudy weather, the auto feature of the Galaxy A23 balances the exposure of the shot to make it brighter than other smartphones. The colors are vibrant and detailed and the sharpness is on point, although sometimes shadows are deep and it has a deep black as well. Bringing it at night and taking street photos gives an impressive color. Even without the night mode, images are adjusted based on the colors that the main sensor captures giving a more lit image. The color is still sharp and detailed plus it doesn't look grainy at all. The 50 main camera is reliable despite the environment. There are other fun and versatile functions that the quad camera offers. Although the other lenses don't stand out that much, they still give options for your creative mind. For its ultra wide, there are some chromatic aberrations on the corners but sometimes they are not visible. Highlights are a bit blown out and colors are not that vibrant unlike the main cam. But if you took an image in a well-lit environment or at a better angle, it gives out impressive results. For its macro sensor, it is fairly decent compared to other macro sensors with the same 2 megapixel lens. Details are visible and images are not grainy or blurry. Plus, it has a good amount of bokeh effect. Selfies taken by the 8 megapixel selfie camera are pretty good. They have decent sharpness and detail, plus, the color of the skin is true to life. As for its video recording, we don't have many options since there are only 1080p at 30fps and 720p at 30fps. Maybe next time, Samsung offers more versatility to its video recording feature. Having the option to go higher and above when it comes to video quality is still a pretty neat choice. As for its performance, it is powered by Snapdragon 684G with 6 nanometers of process. It runs on Android 12, slop with One UI 4.1. One of the things that I love about Samsung is its system. It is jam-packed, it is clean and smooth. It really is a user-friendly OS. Also, the Snapdragon 680 chipset has a capable CPU that offers a considerable upgrade compared to the old Snapdragon chipset. However, the chip has enough cores that are clocked sufficiently high compared to devices running the latest Snapdragon 690 series. In other words, performance won't be much of a problem here. Our review unit comes with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. 
As for gaming, we tested playing Mobile Legends on it and as for the gaming experience, there are no frame drops or stuttering all throughout the game. The display plus the ultra graphics quality gives out amazing details and burst in colors. Even at team fights, you can see the colors pop plus no performance drop during all those animations. So with the max settings for Mobile Legends, we get 60 FPS and 100% stability. As for its battery, it is backed with a 5000 mAh battery paired with a 25 watts fast charging. Having a 5000 mAh battery is good especially if you're always on the go or if you are always on a trip, battery life won't be much of a problem. Using up the device with the 25 watts fast charging from 0 to 100% took us about 1 hour and 40 minutes. This is quite long but if you are in a rush, in just 30 minutes you can charge almost 35% of its battery which will last quite a long time. Overall, for the price of 13,990 pesos, the Samsung Galaxy A23 is an all-rounder reliable smartphone. Although there are some drawbacks to its cameras, still, the 50 megapixel main offers an impressive quality of images, including the OIS for its video recording. The gaming performance that it offers is good as well, plus the impressive 90Hz display. Samsung Galaxy A23 is a bang for the buck smartphone. So that is our review of the Samsung Galaxy A23. What are your thoughts about this device? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future contents. Also, don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparison of the latest device. Once again, this is Pope and Mabuhay Manila!